We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. It is co-creation at its best. We see you have dragged your physical bodies here. That's good. Turning thoughts to things, that's what you are about. So you know what you want, you know what's on your mind, what you want to contribute, what you want to understand. That's what goes on here. New combining, therefore new asking, therefore new answering. Every time. You're more than you know, but not because you were more because you were born, but because you are more since being in this physical body. You just become more and more and more. Everything you live causes you, even when something that you're observing really bothers you and you're pushing really hard against it, in knowing what you don't want, what you do want is known. It's equally known. The more you don't want it, the more you want this. And the more you push against whatever this unwanted is, the more you create whatever this wanted is. That's what the expansion of the universe is about. But what we're about together is that often humans, oh, doing just what you came to do, you become more and more and more and more and more, but you don't let yourself fully manifest the more that you have become because you are busy noticing where you currently stand. What is, it's lovely. You can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it and talk about it and define it and pigeonhole it and catalog it and make monuments about it and write books about it and talk to everybody you know about it all day, every day. You sort of kind of do that. And as you do that, you hold yourself in the vibrational frequency of what is rather than in the vibrational frequency of what you have expanded to be. And so that's what we talk about all day, every day here is how to humanly blend with the non-physical part of who you are to allow yourself to let yourself be who you really are because someone's rude and you want them to be nicer. You've created that experience. But if you keep noticing how rude they are, you don't let yourself live what you ask for. Even with that rude one, that rude one cannot be less rude to you while you perceive them as rude. They might be nice to other people, but they will not be nice to you. It cannot be. You are vibrationally matching all day, every day, what you are offering vibrationally. And that's, we know you can see and you can hear and you can smell and you can taste and you can touch because you are interpreting vibration in that way. And you don't even know you're doing it. But when you are mad at someone, when you feel insecure, when you feel taken advantage of, when you feel like you are a victim, the law of attraction matches you up with stuff like that, which just makes you say, see, I told you, I told you, I knew that was how it was because what you believe is a practiced thought, a practiced thought is a practiced point of attraction point of attraction, point of attraction, point of attraction. That's what we want you to hear about. What is your point of attraction? What's my point of attraction? Well, a clue is how do you feel? Henri, not doing so good right this minute. It'll be all right though, because dominantly your love, your pure positive energy, that's who you dominantly are. But who are you letting yourself be in this moment and in this moment and in this moment? There is this constant relationship between who you are presently in terms of what you're emitting vibrationally and therefore attracting vibrationally and who the larger part of you, your inner being, that soul source part of you, that God part of you, that part of you that was before you came into this body and still exists. And with everything you ask for, everything you live, that part of you that becomes more, that part of you, non-resistant in nature, pure love, love and understanding and appreciation, never hatred, never pushing against, never feeling insecure, never pushing against you, never judging you, never devaluing you, never hating you, never harming you, never offering anything negative about you or about anyone. 
But as you stand in an attitude justifying your madness or your meanness or your negative response, your knee jerk response to something unwanted and unwarranted, as you offer your knee jerk response of that, you cause a vibrational difference between you and who you really are. And you feel that difference. That's what negative emotion is. Every time you feel negative emotion, what you're feeling is the vibrational difference between who you are as this pure positive energy love force and who you're being right now in your confusion of who you are or who they are in your holding to the now reality that you don't want and more important in your disallowing the new reality that you have just given birth to you can't continue to become and become and become and become and become and become and you are all day every day and not let yourself go there without feeling the tug of war and it's not a tug of war that's caused by somebody else oh maybe they influenced because they are rotten <laughs> but as you observe them and you concluded their wrongness and you push against them what you're really doing is pushing against you it's hard to hear for quite a while after Jerry and Esther began playing with us one or the other of them would argue with us Abraham I think you need more information about that one <laughs> because it was just hard to conceive that someone that rotten from their perspective could be loved by source and the fact that they were loved by source and hated by Esther was what Esther's problem was they're not the problem Esther's misunderstanding of her relationship with who she really is was the problem these are the things that we want to leave you with you have a non-physical partnership that is aware of you and not creating for you that was the understanding you said I'll go into contrast because that will provide new desires which eternity wants new desires and your inner being said and we will remain here focused upon the outcome that you seek holding true to that notion even before you can prove it with the thing that the thought has turned to so we'll tend to the thoughts while you create the things but then you got mixed up you said show me the things and I'll think good thoughts about them and your inner being says think the thoughts and the things will come and there's nothing off limits there's no limitation whatsoever you can be or do or have whatever you choose and so you came with eagerness about that and for the most part that eagerness is renewing a little bit in this room here today we want you to know that you can you can have it all you just have to be able to hold yourself steady in that knowing and you can't keep taking score of what everybody thinks about it you can't let all those bag of marbles confuse your bag of marbles you can't stand with a mind that is easily hooking into other bags of marbles the other day someone Esther adores called to talk to her about someone else that they both adore and Esther has this very practiced thought that I'm just gonna expect the best for everyone and she's trying to be like she knew Jerry to be she doesn't want anyone to be diminished because of her worry but within five minutes of talking to this person on the phone Esther was as worried about this other person as the person who had called her and Esther thought how was I so easily drawn into worry when I want to be one who brings the best out well it's just not something that she'd practiced yet but now it is you see what we're getting at in other words you practice yourself into your positive expectation you can't observe your way to it unless you're a really good selective sifter but it's not easy to be a selective sifter you've really got to get off and quiet your mind and make your statements of intent and stay there until you really feel them you've had some moments like that in this room today not a lot of them because this has been a going hard after it day and we've been focused upon a lot of things and you've related to a lot of them but you've had those moments when you felt the elation of knowing something we know you did it happened to you this few times here today you are vibrationally different than you were when you walked in and things will manifest differently for you now they just will Jerry said as he was coaching people financially 
you want to put your basket out there far enough that when you throw this at it that you believe you can hit it and far enough that when you hit it you go whoa but not so far that you don't believe you can hit it so it's that balance that you're looking for you're not trying to believe everything is possible when you don't believe everything is possible you just want to believe some things are possible and you're wanting to notice the things that at one time you didn't believe were possible that became possible and after a while you understand that the formula is always the formula it always 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 works there's not this arbitrary formula that says well thoughts are turning to things unless you're a Republican <laughs> or unless you're a Democrat there are no caveats that make the law of attraction and its consistency void in any way and your emotions let you know whether you're on the path of more allowance or whether you're on the path of more resistance you see it's so much fun isn't it to contemplate possibilities and don't you like knowing that the law of attraction is responsive to you and so when something wonderful happens claim it I did that and when something not so wonderful happens claim that too I did that show yourself that your thoughts are turning to things and then you'll get more clear about turning more of the thoughts to things that you want to turn to things and fewer of the thoughts to turn to things that you don't want to turn to things you can do it sometimes humans wonder well why isn't God helping me more why isn't my inner being helping me more because the law of attraction is responding your inner being didn't say I'll go and I'll be your point of attraction your inner being says you go and decide and I'll keep the light on for you so that you'll know if you're moving in the direction of it or not so that you can show yourself that you are a creator well Abraham why are we being tested to be creators you're not being tested to be creators you're creators who want to create you remember the last time that you reached out to do something and your mother did it and you thought I was going to do that I knew how to do that I wanted to do that don't do for me what I want to do you are creators satisfaction comes from only one place life giving you an intention and you moving in the direction of it and did you notice we didn't say and getting it no moving in the direction of it that's satisfaction wanting something and moving in the direction of it that's how you know you're all lined up with the power of the universe and the power that your inner being has focused on your behalf you are a delicious group of powerful thinkers who have strong desires which makes you so much fun to co-create with your desires are stronger than your belief in your ability to accomplish them but that is changing in every moment that we were speaking together here today you're gonna to have some fun over the next few days because there are gonna be some things that show up in a sort of illogical kind of way just because of the slight shift that's happened here be easy about this be playful about this don't try to test this don't work on the hard things just try to feel better try to feel better try to feel better let your mantra for the next little while be I'm supposed to feel good things are supposed to feel good to me I'm supposed to feel good it's right that I feel good I'm supposed to feel good I'm looking for easy existing matches to feel good and watch what happens next we've enjoyed this interaction immensely there is great love here for you and for now we are complete. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next